guys, Robo46 and welcome yourselves to Monster Energy Supercross 4 on the Xbox Series X. Now, uh... Okay. Yep, so uh, this game actually came out a few weeks ago now. And uh, I wasn't actually planning on doing it on the channel. But I have been sent a code for it. So, I think uh, we'll, we'll try it out, see how we go. We'll just keep it as it is for that one. Uh, welcome to Monster Energy Supercross 4. Before you begin to play, you can create your rider. Okay, this is going to be the usual stuff, so get rid of that. Oh, this is surname, in it? So we shall spell out 46. Got some interesting music in the background. Oh no, Ugh, that's not my surname. Oh, okay. Come on, we can do this. Already got stuck at the uh, the naming screen. Forty six. So I have played uh, previous uh, Mo uh, Monster Energy Supercross games. Um, I tend to kind of uh, do them every other year. But um, yeah, as I have been sent a code now, I'll uh, give this one a go. See how we go. Send them out. Height. It's good that they put height in. Um, go go with 510. Number range. Can we have 149? What number can we have? Sometimes they... Uh, can we have number 46? Well, it's giving me 42. But we can have 46? Or is it just being weird? Continent, Europe. We're not part of Europe anymore. Um, or are we still classed to them? I think we are. Okay, we'll go with Europe then. See if... Uh, oh, Great Britain is still there. Okay. <laughs> that's That's good. Oh, okay. So it is doing that annoying thing. What about 64? So if we go to the next lot. We can have 58, actually. Uh, let's try 64. No, okay. Right, we're going with 58. 58. There we go. Head. Well, we've got an achievement already. Full-time rider. Hello? Okay. Has anyone got stupidly messy hair like me? Not particularly. Has anyone got a beard? No, they haven't. Ugh. Oh. I don't want to be... Nah. Maybe that one. Maybe. I mean, my hair is kind of like that at the moment, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not liking any of these uh, choices, to be honest. Right, I think we'll go with that one, hair colour, that, okay, back, oh now we can do beard, okay, that's better, can't even see that, is that five o'clock shadow? A longish beard. There we go. Near enough. Okay, what colour? Hello? Where's it gone? The beard's disappeared. Well, I'll go for that one. Oh, it's not bloody done it. Mine's not that ginger. <laughs> right. We'll go with that. What's next? Eye colour. Uh, that'll do. Anything else? Don't think so. If you finish a race in one of the top three places, you can celebrate with a victorious... Okay. Well, I tried doing these in the, the previous games, but they didn't seem to work with the time. Um, yeah, we'll do a salute. Shame you can't put your middle finger up, but never mind. <laughs> your rider is ready. 
now you can choose the bike. Okay. So what we're going to start with, I mean KTMs are always good to start with. Uh, Kawasaki, got a Honda. Husky, Suzuki. I mean, we'll start with the KTM. Let's do it. Yes, I want to choose that manufacturer. Oh, not particularly. No, I don't. So what I do want to do is go into the compound and just have a little play, basically. Um, is there a way... Where's the options? Can't find them at the moment. Right, we'll go to compound. Yep, that's fine. We'll just do 250 West. Can I use my rider? Custom rider. Oh, we go with that. Race options, here we go. So lighting cycle. That's fine. AI difficulty. Put that to realistic. Physics, advanced, joint breaks, no. That's manual. Manual. Don't want rewinds. Flow aid off. Rider weight is a little bit of a strange one. Um, I may have to change that back to automatic at some point just because uh, my thumbs can't seem to cope with it. But uh, we'll see how we go. We'll just do a bit of compound racing to begin with and see how we go. See how the game plays. I'm assuming the button layout is the same as what it's always been, but we'll find out. We'll do some experimenting, see what happens. Who knows what's going to happen. So do a bit of free roam. Bike set up. Nah. We'll just start. Okay. Right. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's... <laughs> there we go. That's it, guys. See you later. Frame rate doesn't seem that great, if I'm honest. It seems a bit... Seems a bit juddery. So, is that... That's the clutch. Okay, LB's clutch. Can you do stoppies? Yes, you can. And wheelies. Excellent. So, okay. Right stick is right of weight. So, that's fine. Oh, what's the camera doing? I don't like that. I do not like that camera angle. Can hardly see where I was going. Okay, that's the pad. Oh, hello. Oh, have we got the um button to tear off? No? Hello? Tear, tear off? There used to be a tear off button. Okay. Right, that's still the same. That's still the same. That's fine. So, we can do some whips and scrubs and stuff. Oh, oh, that's gone horribly wrong. Okay. Yeah, the camera seems to be a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie. It seems a bit weird being outside. Oh, that, that's a big, big old jumpy boy. Well, well we're not going to land that properly. Some of those textures look a bit unfinished as well. What is going on? Is everything loaded in properly or... I don't really know. So, the map looks a bit blurry as well. What's going on? Is it just not loaded properly? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Yeah, I don't like that the camera does that when you go up a go up a ramp or something. Is it going to do it here as well? Yeah, that that's not good. Don't like the camera doing that. That was weird. Oh, <laughs> just about landed that. I was going to try and do a backflip then, but uh, thought better of it. So what other? What we got? Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, we've got a little town here. Stop. Stop. Stop at the stop sign. There we go. Let's... Oh, I was going to say, can I... Oh, hello. No, I don't want to respawn. 
Can't move the rider's head, so it's going to look both ways because it's a stop sign, but... Excellent. Right into a bloody fence. Oh, there we go. RB is to take a tear off off. They need that in the MotoGP games and stuff. Can we go into the sea? Not by the looks of it. There's a barrier there. Is that going to be an invisible wall? No, it's just going to turn you around. That's a shame. I wanted to go go fishing or something. Oh, it feels weird in this camera angle. It feels very weird. All right, let's change back to third person. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, stop doing that camera, please. I wonder if there's a way to change that in the options, because uh, that camera is not doing it for me. Um, HUD? Anything to do with camera? Doesn't look like it. Uh, image. No, that's just gamma. Okay, well, that's not really helping. Is there a different third person? Is that one? Is that going to be any different? Right, let's find a ramp and see if that one's the same, because... Yeah, that, that isn't a good camera angle to have. I mean, bike feels okay. Okay, let's go up here. That's better. That's better. It doesn't zoom in so much. This could end horribly. That was okay. Whoop. Oh, that was not a good thing to do, but we survived. Oh no, that's going into the trees. Yeah, sometimes you get a bit of a uh, difficulty spike on these games. But we'll see. See how it goes. I'm usually not too bad with the 250s, but when we get up to the 450s, that's when I start to struggle. It's all about obviously getting your rhythm and uh, trying to keep your momentum going. Sometimes I, I get the jumps wrong. But, um, yeah, we'll see. I have done a bit of career mode in the past. I don't think... I think the last Supercross game I played was three. Um, actually, I think I missed the first one. Went with the second and third one. I was going to miss this one. Um, same with the motocross games as well, the MXGP games. But, um, yeah. Yeah, the, the frame rate seems to be not that stable, and that's a little bit concerning considering... It's just us at the moment, so um, we'll see. We'll see how we go. Oh, apparently those bloody annoying hay bale things are a little bit better this time around. They used to be a pain in the ass. Okay, so we have got day-night cycle going on. Right, I think uh, we better do some races, haven't we? We'll go in uh, start career mode, see how we go. I'm wondering if, because qualifying used to be broken, um, the AI on 120% or realistic difficulty, they used to do stupid times in qualifying. Um, and then... Oh, that's gone wrong. It's gone horribly wrong. And then come the race, they would be a lot slower. So, yeah, it was a bit annoying trying to qualify and then trying to, trying to do a good race as well. But we'll see. No, didn't do a backflip. Okay. Right, let's exit out of here then. And then we shall go and start career mode, see what happens. Hopefully we'll be okay, but you never know. You never know. Right. Uh, single player. Career. Futures. 
So there we are, there's our bike. Okay, ready to go. Ready to go. This is a career hub on this page. You have the possibility to decide what to do between one weekend and the next. Use this tab to switch to the next event. Every week you have to prove your abilities in a race. Take to the track and do the best you can with the credits and prestige. Training is available as well. You can, you can participate in only three training sessions a week. Okay. So it looks like they've... Uh, yeah. Now this is something I have seen on reviews where they deliberately make your rider feel like he's really sluggish and that until you start getting your abilities up. Um, which is a little bit annoying, but see what we can do. So we've got no skill points. That doesn't help. Um, so training is available. The lion, the surgeon, the showman, the snake, the lightning. Okay, well let's go with the lion then. Pass the largest possible number of opponents. Oh okay, this is a little bit like the um, track days. On uh, ride four, I'm guessing. Okay, so keep it at high speed. Pass multiple opponents consecutive, uh, consecutively to get two times and three times multipliers and increase your score. Don't leave the track. That might be easier said than done. We shall see. I mean, they didn't really put... Me oh, the music's on. We need to change that. Turn that music off. Don't want the music whilst we're... Um, Racing? Are you kidding? I can't turn it off. Really? Why? I can turn the menu, menu music off, but not the race music. Gameplay music. Off. Oh, that's race effects, you silly man. That's why. Yeah, we don't want to turn them off. Right. We're fine. We're fine. What an idiot. Right, let's continue. That didn't go well. Oh, we've left the track. We've left the track. I mean, this is, uh, hasn't gone very well, if I'm honest. And yeah, it's been a, a very long time since I've played a... Uh, Supercross or Motocross game, to be fair. Oh, what's happening there? What's he doing? He was having a bit of a moment. Oh, I've messed that up. Yeah, this isn't going well. This is not going well at all. What we get? I think we've got like 300 points, possibly. We've got 300, so we got two stars, even though that was horrendous. Okay, well, we'll go on to next training. So does that mean we've now got two um, rider points to use? I don't know. Training level two of the lion. What's this one? Pass the largest possible number. This is the same thing. Oh, okay. So minimum score is 300 for one. One to start. So we can only do one more after this. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, off track. Oh, oh he's gone down anyway, so that helps me out. Come on. Excuse me. Coming through. No, I'm not. 
There we go. Oh, we've just lost 600 points. Are you kidding me? How annoying is that? I don't think you should necessarily lose points if you get re retaken by someone. I just don't think that, you know, if you then retake them, I don't think you should get any points for that. I think that's how it should work. We only got one star, I think, for that one. Oh, no, we got two. Okay. Somehow I'm getting two stars. Right, let's go back to career home. Yes, I want to go back to career home. I wouldn't have asked otherwise. Um, so can we actually do anything? Yeah, we got four, 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 uh, skill points. So what's this? Improves maximum, maximum attainable turn. But right, we'll do that. That cost one. Uh, banking management improves the maximum degree of turning in bends with banking. Definitely need that. Um, is this going to... How much do they... Are they one each or is this going to... Oh no, they're two. They're two now. So two, then go on to three, five and seven. Okay. Um, improves maximum attainable turn. Mm, yeah, we'll go with that one. And that's all of them used up so far. Oh, we've got like physical resistance, scrub, braking and bike control as well. Maybe we should have done some stuff with bike control. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Well, guys, I think I'm going to leave this video here. This has just been a, a first look and impressions of Monster Energy Supercross 4. Um, I think the real test is going to be when we actually get into a race, see what the frame rate is actually doing um, and see if I can actually get up to speed again because I didn't used to be too bad. I'm not like the best at Motocross or Supercross games, but I can hold my own. Um, and yeah, I think I just need a bit more practice. So uh, yeah, the bikes feel okay. Um, and it is a little bit annoying with your, you know, it doesn't matter how good you are at bike games. Um, you're at a little bit of a disadvantage to begin with until you get your uh, ability skill set up um, so that you can actually move the bike a bit better and get through the bends a bit quicker and stuff like that. So until we do that, it's uh, yeah going to take a little while to actually um, get anywhere. But yeah, anyway, that has been it from me, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and to wash your hands. See you.